So if you're trying to decide between CAT7 or CAT8 for your home or office network, this video will show you which cable is the optimal choice. In order to determine the optimal choice, we'll examine each cable and reveal all the specifications, pricing, and we'll test each cable's maximum speeds, maximum bandwidth, multiple streams, and UDP jitter. And guys, if you don't know this, my name is Mike. I love technology, I love networking, I love computer builds, I love TVs, gaming consoles, all things technology. If you enjoy these things as well, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notifications. And while you're there, give a thumbs up and share this video. All right, first is CAT7, also known as Category 7 or Class F cabling. CAT7 has a maximum speed of 10 gigabits per second and 600 megahertz of bandwidth. And CAT7 has a max installation run of 328 feet. And CAT7 can run 40 gigabits per second from 15 to 50 meters. And FYI, CAT7 is not an official IEEE standard. However, CAT7 is a very fast cable. So fast indeed, that CAT7 can download an entire HD movie in less than a minute. And that's amazing. Of course, this is all hypothetical because these speeds depend upon your ISP plan and your home networking infrastructure. CAT7 cables are superbly shielded, which means it's fantastic at reducing attenuation, also known as signal loss. And CAT7 is less prone to interference and crosstalk from outside sources. So this makes it an excellent choice to be installed near heavy machinery or fluorescent lighting. And CAT7 is backwards compatible, which means it's compatible with all your networking equipment. And that's good news. And then there's CAT8, also known as Category 8 Ethernet, which is the undisputed champion when it comes to speed, bandwidth, latency, and jitter. And just to be clear, CAT8 is an official IEEE standard unlike CAT7. CAT8 speeds are between 25 and 40 gigabits per second with an astounding 2000 megahertz of bandwidth. And CAT8 has a max installation run of 30 meters or 98 feet. And CAT8 has fantastic shielding. Inside the CAT8 cable, you'll find shielded foil twisted pair, which is fantastic for reducing attenuation and crosstalk. So the question is, which cable should you choose? CAT7 or CAT8? Well, let's break these cables down and test them. When it comes to speed and performance, CAT8 rules the day. But remember, those insane speeds depend upon your home network infrastructure, your ISP equipment, and your ISP max speeds. If your networking equipment is the usual one gig or 2.5 gig variety, then you won't see much of a difference between these cables. As far as maximum cable runs are concerned, CAT7 rules the day. And that's because CAT7 can be installed up to 100 meters and CAT8 only 30 meters. And that's over three times the distance. As far as compatibility goes, both CAT8 and CAT7 are backwards compatible, and both are compatible with all your networking equipment. As far as the cost goes, CAT8 is more expensive than CAT7, and I'll have a chart right here in the video to show you the pricing. As far as durability and installation, both cables are the same. CAT8 might be slightly thicker, but not by much. When it comes to gaming, both cables should provide a smooth, lag-free experience. But the most cost-effective choice would be CAT7. So guys, now we're gonna test CAT7 versus CAT8 using iPerf3. We'll test the speeds, bandwidth, multiple streams, and UDP jitter. And here are the results of the iPerf3 test. After doing the iPerf3 speed tests, both cables were identical when it came to speeds, bandwidth, and multiple streams. The only difference was UDP jitter. CAT8 was slightly better than CAT7, but very minimal. So the question is, which cable is best for your home network? CAT7 or CAT8? Well, the winner is CAT7. CAT7 is the better choice for a multitude of reasons. With a maximum transmission frequency of 600 megahertz and optimal speeds of 10 gigabits per second for over 100 meters and 40 gigabits per second from 15 to 50 meters, this cable is ideal for smart homes or in a business environment demanding high-performing internet connectivity. And these speeds rival CAT8 except for the bandwidth. Also CAT7 cables feature a stricter crosstalk specification, minimal noise, and superb shielding for maximum durability. And lastly, CAT7 is cheaper than CAT8, which makes it more budget friendly. Remember, the best choice for your setup isn't necessarily the one with the highest specs on paper, but the one that aligns best with your home networking demands and budget considerations. However, there is one caveat. If future-proofing is your highest priority, then install CAT8. And with that, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, smash the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.